It's a standard two by two inch by two inch by nine inch coin box. The two by twos fit in there perfectly. It's what it's designed for. When you get them, you get two pieces. There's a top and a bottom. One fits in over the other. Well, rather spend two or three bucks, I'd rather, you know, buy coins. So it's set of the box. You can pick up a priority mailbox up at the post office. It doesn't cost nothing. It's already glued. All you got to do is cut it, stick it together, and you got one of these in effect. It doesn't cost a thing. I'm going to bring it up from the the, uh, the fold here, two and a quarter inches, because I didn't want it to uh, be a little bit taller than the, than the uh, two by twos. Nothing there. Put a little mark. Let's see. Draw a line. If I can do this right. Usually I need three hands to do this, but I've only got two right now. There you go. Flatten it out. Extend your line. I got another board under this because I'm going to cut with a razor. I don't want to cut through the table. There you go. Now I've already marked the other side. I'm going to just trim that right down the bottom. Nothing to it. Now, with one of these regular boxes, you get two sides, two ends, that have the self-adhesive uh, strip. There we go. You take the side, set it aside. You got a self-adhesive strip on the bottom there. Sometimes it works. When you're shipping, don't trust it, because they don't hold. Put your sides in, put your bottom down. Voila, instant coin box. Now, they get another size. I don't know what that is. Uh, RRBA2, something or other. They work just fine. Now they're a little bit longer, right? Instead of 9 inch. Well, geez, if you've got a 12 inch shelf, it's only going to stick out an inch, but it'll hold up. What you can really do that's neat, you get one of these boxes, and instead of breaking it down, you, know, you use that as your, your storage. Okay. That's about it. If you want to, you can take some duct tape and do that even better. I've had all kinds of boxes just stuck together with duct tape. Uh, but the other side, same thing. I've got a uh, self-adhesive strip. I can put that together in just a moment here. Let's find a seam. Okay, give it two and a quarter inches or so. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just going to be good enough. There is no seam on this side. There it is. If it's a little bit off, well, ain't nobody going to see it. go extend that line and lots of razor there it is and just slice right through this is one of the cases where good enough works and all we're trying to do is you now get our groove on not throw a lot of money out. I mean, there's people that got file cabinets and steel and all kinds of good stuff. They got a great collection. So I'm going to keep this stuff around for what? A month or two before I move it out the door. So storing it here is not so much a priority. As long as it's clean, dry, there's no spiders in it. You know, I've got the air conditioner running so the humidity control is good. All I want here is a simple container to keep things organized, you know, up on a shelf or on a desk while I do my thing. I just don't want to come off. There we go. Okay, put your flaps in. Put the other side down. Look at that. Two boxes just like that. The two by four twos fit right in there perfectly. Okay, there's a little gap. If you want to go this way. That's okay with me. You can do it any way you want. It's your box. But different boxes, different sizes. Uh, you fit slabs in these. How's that for you? Here's a, here's a two cent piece right there. And you can fill that baby up with slabs. Good idea also, put those babies in a uh, Ziploc bag. Otherwise they'll scuff up. There's some scuffs on this two center. Well, makes photography difficult. Uh, this is another box. It's just a computer box I got when I got the, the laptop. And it's pretty handy when you need something to cut on, but I could turn that into a box. I mean, you got the template right there. Just take it apart, measure it, come up with whatever you need to suit your needs. That 2x2, two two, you can see, fits right in there perfectly. I got a little space at the top, so 
nothing's getting stick at, nothing's sticking out. With these, they do tend to stick out. And you know, if I drag a book or something across the table, I bump it. You know, they might go flying all over the place. But that's it. Two little boxes. Don't cost nothing. Try it out, guys. Thanks a lot.